Visit Elmhurst.org to explore the new City of Elmhurst website. Find out the latest Elmhurst news, pay utility bills and parking tickets, report concerns, and much more. Elmhurst.org is an ideal way to discover what Elmhurst offers your business, your family, your life. Good morning. Welcome to Community Conversation Senior Options for Living Well in Elmhurst. My name is Kathy Jordan and I am the chair for the Elmhurst Senior Citizens Commission that is uh, sponsored by the City of Elmhurst. The Commission provides information, advice, and advocacy to enhance the quality of life for, for people in Elmhurst. Before I start our program, I would like to say uh, a few thank yous to people. The Elmhurst Point, who has provided us with the treats this morning, let's give them a round of applause. And Mayor DeCiani and City Council for their support, as well as Dorothy Schmidtke, Pat Dungy, who are the secretaries. They help us prepare for this. We wouldn't be able to do a lot of this without their help, so we really appreciate that. I would like to introduce you to the commissioners that I work with. They work tirelessly to help provide information so that you can make good choices here in Elmhurst. And um, you're only as good as, as you uh, are with the people that you work with, so I'd like to introduce them and maybe give a little wave because they're, they're wonderful people and assets to our committee. Jackie Haddad, who is the education chair, Kathy Lorenz, who is actually a presenter today, Heidi Forbrush, she's in the back handing out brochures. Mary Eleanor Wall, who is actually our housing chair commissioner, who helped uh, compile a lot of the information that you're actually looking at today. Ruth Maple, who's handing out brochures. Grayson Haller, Joyce McIntosh, and I believe I said Heidi, I don't want to forget anybody. And Grayson is our newest commissioner. Give us a wave, okay, so everyone can see you. And thank you for all your help. Our job, as I said, is to make sure that you make good choices. Um, today, the desire to remain in familiar surroundings doesn't diminish with age. However, needs change. And for some, a new environment is needed to meet the challenges and limitations of aging. Some senior citizens choose to live with relatives or move to an apartment or a condominium. That does not require the maintenance of a financial burden of home ownership. Options for those who choose to move are diverse and plentiful. Senior options for living well in Elmhurst. What options do seniors have for housing in Elmhurst? We have a panel of housing experts who will share their expertise covering shared housing, adult day care, independent living, assisted living, supportive living, and skilled nursing facility information. I would like to present our first speaker from Elmbrook Health Care and Rehabilitation Center, Samantha Cantley. Hi, my name is Samantha. I'm from Elmbrook Healthcare. We're literally five minutes right down the road. Uh, we're a skilled and intermediate care facility. We specialize in uh, physical therapy, occupational therapy, and speech therapy. Um, we offer short-term respite stays. We offer long-term care as well. We're currently accepting Medicaid, public aid. Uh, we do accept insurance companies as well. Our biggest insurance company is Blue Cross Blue Shield and Humana. This is my first event, so I'm seeing if, if I'm a little nervous. I'm sorry. Um, we offer we do offer church services as well for you know the senior citizens that like to attend church every Sunday or Tuesday or Wednesday whenever your services are offered. Um, let's see. We have in-house uh, dietary services that can create meals to your special needs, whether you need you are on a plain diet. Um, mechanical soft or just you know soft foods in general we um, 
We offer, actually we just came underneath new ownership as well, so we're currently under construction. We have some more semi-private and private rooms as well. They have a lot more plans, but we're kind of just going with the flow. So I don't know what's in store for us next, but um, let's see, our current owners, they took over November, no, October 1st, and for the last month we've been painting rooms, reconstructing rooms. So if you guys would like to come see us, we're offering tours at any time. Um, Monday through Friday you can ask for Randy or I. We're there from 8 to 4.30, sometimes 6 or 7 o'clock at night. I have business cards and new brochures for you guys to see. Um, and if we're not there, if we don't happen to be there, there's a supervisor on duty that can always, always offer a tour to you, always stop what they're doing to give you a tour. Um, any, actually, any staff can, really. Let's see. Uh, our new owners um, is Legacy Healthcare Group. I don't know if you guys are familiar with them. Um, currently, our fill-in administrator is Jim Cousios. Uh, we also specialize in dementia and Alzheimer's care as well as hospice care. So if you guys need any of that kind of care at all, you know, we specialize in it. I can answer any questions after this presentation. Um, let's see. I think that's it for now. Um, thank you for listening. <laughs> Hello, I am Linda Kanicki from Elmhurst Point, which is only about three quarters of a block away from City Hall in the heart of downtown Elmhurst. We're a revolutionary concept in senior living. What do seniors today want in a senior living uh, community, a walkable community, a neighborhood that's safe where they can go and walk down the street to a rainbow restaurant, a fruitful yield, the resale shop, and have many different things to do every day. This is all part of a positive aging philosophy that we have at Elmhurst Point. We're located at 111 West 3rd Street in Elmhurst, just in the heart of downtown Elmhurst. With only 32 residences, we can provide a much more personal service and innovative programs to continue that positive aging in an independent way. As well, many people think today it's harder to move. Well, it's not, because our Move Now, Sell Later program has all the pieces that you need to make that a less stressful event, and we can help you step by step. We have many programs that help you move in, and you can call us at 630 424-9222 to arrange a visit, or even better yet, we are very involved in having community events like our upcoming event this Tuesday on November 9th at 1 p.m. about the B VA Benefits Workshop about long-term health care for war wartime vets and spouses. Again, that's Tuesday at 1 o'clock. And then we have many other events in November as well that you can attend. And you can even receive this coupon out front when you come to visit me for an event where we're giving away a $100 gift card. And then on November 17th, many of you are probably wondering what the health care law and Medicare is going through at this point. And we have AARP Illinois coming to do a presentation at 1 o'clock. So we hope that you can attend those. Just call an RSVP so we have enough cookies and coffee. We are very involved with doing these types of community events and have done food drives and other things while we've been open. Uh, it's a unique concept when you come to visit me today uh, out in front. I also have an article of one of our residents that we were both interviewed in July, for a July article, and it talks about one of the biggest things I hear every day, why didn't I do this sooner? And picking the location is important. Go and visit everyone, not just Elmhurst Point. That's my advice to you. Make sure that you're making your choice, make your plan while you can, and that's what's important in order to keep being independent because that's what we all want. Thank you again, Linda Kanicki from Elmhurst Point at 111 West 3rd Street.
Good morning. My name is Dawn Foley, and I represent the Lexington Health Network. You're probably more familiar with it called Lexington Square of Elmhurst. Lexington Square is located on 400 West Bull of, uh, Butterfield Road. I always say right over by the Drury Lane Theater. We also have a sister community actually in, you may have heard of already too, is called Lexington Square of Lombard. So they are part of that Lexington group. We call the Lexington of Elmhurst and Lexington of Lombard the squares. So we know that's where we offer the beautiful buildings there, updated and spacious apartments, wonderful meals cooked by our own chefs right on site, and plenty of activities. It's a community living where old friendships can be rekindled and new friendships can be made. Our residents there that live at the squares have peace of mind because they know that there are predictable expenses. There's wealth protection, and then there's extra care. And I say that, too, because what we do is we do offer our financial plans, and there are several different financial plans, too. So that would be um, you get an entrance deposit up front based on the size of the apartment. Of course, you have a monthly service fee, which includes pretty much everything of your everyday activities. And then you do have a choice of a refund back of that entrance deposit. So you either get the choice of 100% back or 55% back to your estate. Uh, Personal care is actually available in Lexington Square of Elmhurst. Right now in Elmhurst, there is the independent living building, of course, known as the Square, and then they have the health care center or the nursing home right on site also. Right now, residents that live in Elmhurst Square are able to maintain their independence by getting further services and care services right inside their independent living apartments. So if anyone needs help with medication management or help with bathing or maybe after a, a stay at a rehab center or whatever needs to get a little help to and from the dining room, we can provide that at Elmhurst, of, uh, at Lexington Square of Elmhurst. Just to keep in mind, though, because we're all part of the same system, now Lexington Square of Lombard is a full-service community. Uh, they both are, but the little difference is now as of this year, uh, Lombard opened up their, uh, opened, they, they are now a licensed assisted living. They have a floor on our second floor of the building. So we have that full continuum right now. So even with Elmhurst residents, if they do need more care, they can always go to the Lombard location too if they need more of assisted living. Then, actually, we also have um, Lexington Square residents as part of that whole package. Do, uh, it does include health care services or uh, nursing care. Lexington, they, Lexington residents have access to all 10 of our Lexington health care centers and specialty programs throughout the Chicagoland area. So the Lombard has a, a health care center, and of course Lex, uh, Elmhurst has a, uh, a health care center too. But you are available to take advantage of any of the 10 across the Chicago area. So I encourage you today, if you haven't been to, how many have been to Lexington Square of Elmhurst? Raise your hands. Okay, good. If you haven't been out there, I really encourage you to come and take a look and see what Lexington Square of Elmhurst has to offer. Come and have lunch, have dinner. I have activities. I have some flyers out on the table, too, and you can come to the events. Come to Lexington Square of Lombard, too. Have eat, eat there, too. You know, we have dinner, come to the activities there, and then make that, that choice. Or we also do, and I have flyers out on the table, too, that... You know what, if you're on the fence, if you've never really, you know, been to these places and, you know, you're not sure what the lifestyle is like, make sure that you can just come and do what we call a trial stay. Both the communities offer a trial stay. Come and stay. Come and stay for two weeks. Come and stay for a month and see what it's all about. i got to tell you about probably maybe 99.9% of the percent of the people that do a trial stay end up staying. So they're wonderful communities. We can take care of all of your health care needs, and I call it in a one-stop shopping. So please make sure that you do and you come out and you, and you see us. So, again, thank you so much. My name is Dawn Foley, and I'm with Lexington Health Network. Thanks. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming today. 
My name is Gina. Uh, I am the project manager of Liberty Village here in Elmhurst at 415 North York Road. We're conveniently located just north of North Avenue, uh, very close to shopping, restaurants, and the downtown Elmhurst area. We're proud to be part of the Elmhurst community. Uh, we have been a part of the community since 1999, and we welcome the opportunity to tell you a little bit about us today. Um, Liberty Village is a senior community, residential senior community, designed to provide a new lifestyle alternative for seniors at a very affordable price. Uh, we offer an ideal setting, a uh, combination of independence uh, with an emphasis certainly on safety and security for our seniors. Our community enables residents to enjoy their retirement years the way they planned, uh, free from worries, filled with good times and good friends. Uh, the development itself is a three-story, 104-unit uh, residence consisting of studio, one, and two-bedroom apartments. Uh, we're owned, by, owned and managed by a company called Carefree Development, uh, whose offices are located in Chicago. We're one of five uh, developments in the suburban area, uh, with one more on the way uh, soon in Lake Zurich uh, called Zurich Meadows. Um, each apartment residence at Liberty Village offers a very spacious floor plan. Uh, we feature a fully equipped kitchen, neutral carpeting, mini blinds, uh, individually controlled heating and air conditioning, uh, and many other conveniences designed to make daily life uh, at Liberty Village a little easier and more comfortable for our seniors. Each of our residences offers seniors an opportunity to enjoy all the comforts of home in kind of a carefree social environment. Uh, with active social lives in mind, uh, we also offer elegantly decorated common areas, including a lounge, library, and dining room. Uh, we have assigned parking and laundry facilities on site as well. And we have a hair salon attached to the property, uh, which is just a short little walk away. All of these things provide an ideal environment for seniors to maintain their independence while gathering with friends in a comfortable and enjoyable setting. We do have a full calendar of events at Liberty Village uh, and activities going on all the time, and we do like to celebrate at Liberty Village. Uh, we celebrate just about every holiday on the calendar and special occasion, and our celebrations usually include a whole lot of fun and a whole lot of food. Um, we also like our entertainment at Liberty, um, which has included everything from swing bands to choirs, dancers, comedians, banjo groups, and barbershop singers as well. You name it, we've done it. Uh, we also take trips outside the building from time to time, uh, including a cruise to Navy Pier, off of Navy Pier, casino trips. Uh, we've done some holiday light trolley rides downtown. Uh, again, you name it, we've done it. The residents tell us kind of what they want to do, and we, we get out there and plan the activity. We also offer monthly health checks, senior fairs, health seminars, uh, our annual garage and bake sale. I see some familiar faces. You may have been to it this year. Um, uh, we have a monthly gift shop, bingo, bunko, you, whatever you want to do, it's, it's available. Our residents also get together three times a week for exercise classes, rosary, Bible study, uh, sewing and craft clubs, and Sunday night movies, just to name a few. There's always something to do and somebody to talk to and ways for seniors to stay active and healthy. Um, there's also opportunities to get involved, so if you're looking to volunteer, uh, we have many volunteers and a lot of our seniors do help out around the building and they get compensated for their time and efforts as well. If you're interested in meals, we do have a dinner service on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday evenings and a monthly Sunday brunch. Uh, our meals are catered and served restaurant style in our dining room. They include soup and salad, entree, side dishes, dessert, and beverage. Uh, our dining room staff actually is made up of many of our residents uh, who live there, and they help prepare and serve the meals, uh, and they do a fantastic job. They're optional, of course, and they're currently $10 each. Very generous portions, plenty of uh, leftovers for the next day. Uh, we also have services set up for residents uh, that they can take advantage of, like pharmacy delivery, grocery delivery, home and health care services, laundry pickup, delivery, cleaning services, uh, pretty much anything you need. We can find it for you or get your referral to find it within the community. Our staff's on site Monday through Friday. Uh, we have a full-time maintenance supervisor, and uh, we also have an emergency maintenance service that can be reached 24 hours a day, seven days a week. 
Uh, you're only required to sign a one-year rental contract, and our move-in costs are extremely low, uh, requiring only a one-month security deposit and a small credit reporting fee. The best thing about it is our current rents are very, very affordable, starting at 610 for a studio unit. Ruth Maple and I will be at our information table later, so please stop by for a brochure and information packet. I'd love to meet all of you and talk with you more uh, about Liberty Village. Uh, look forward to meeting you. Thank you for your time and interest in Liberty Village, and enjoy your day. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Kathy Lorenz. I'm the Community Relations Director with Park Place of Elmhurst. Park Place of Elmhurst is a continuing care retirement community uh, which will offer independent living as well as have a health care center with assisted living, memory care, and skilled nursing to meet all of your health care needs for the future. Our focus is on independence and aging well, and the health care available is purely a safety net. Our community is a brand new development consisting of 173 one, two, and three bedroom apartment residences. Our floor plans are very spacious and come standard with granite countertops, ceramic tile flooring, high-end appliances, and even a washer and dryer in every apartment. For a short time longer, our future residents are still able to choose the colors and finishes of the granite carpeting and tile in their individual apartment. We have over 200 future residents signed up with us already who are a very young and active independent group of people. We are going to offer a, a variety of social and educational programs based on suggestions of these first residents who move into Park Place. For the last two years, we have been getting our group of uh, future residents together uh, approximately every month to form a sense of community before our building even opens. This year alone, we have gone to the Morton Arboretum, dinner and an evening at the Elmhurst Symphony, an antique appraisal fair, a summer picnic, and even a golf outing. Next month, we are having a holiday party with lunch and a play at Drury Lane. We began construction in June of, t of this year, and the projected opening date of Park Place is December of 2011. We are going to be located south of the Timothy Christian School campus and northwest of the brand new Elmhurst Memorial Hospital. Our neighbor to the south is the Elmhurst Christian Reformed Church, which is the new home of the Elmhurst Symphony Orchestra. Park Place is being built on 12 and a half acres in this beautiful part of South Elmhurst. Providence Life Services will operate Park Place once we open. They're based out of Tinley Park and operate 12 communities in Illinois, Indiana, and Michigan. Providence Life Services is a not-for-profit organization and they have been caring, providing care to seniors for over 90 years in this area. As a not-for-profit, they are directed by a volunteer board of directors and are mission-driven, not profit-driven. Also, if you run out of money for legitimate financial hardship, Providence Life Services will never ask you to leave the community. The services and amenities we will offer at Park Place will enhance the lifestyle you are enjoying today. Maybe you want to pursue outside interests you haven't had time, time for. Sometimes obstacles like maintaining your home keep you from pursuing other activities that you would enjoy. By taking advantage of our services and amenities, you will have the time and energy to embrace your retirement years. Our monthly fee is all-inclusive. At Park Place, we will offer three restaurant-style dining venues, along with a complimentary continental breakfast and your choice of lunch or dinner every day. Also included is all of your interior and exterior maintenance, uh, we will have a full-size pool and spa, as well as a program that Providence offers in all of their communities called Senior Fit, which is an individualized exercise program developed specifically for each of our residents by a full-time on-site exercise physiologist. The community will have 24-hour security, as well as an emergency call system uh, to alert staff for an immediate response. We will have uh, weekly housekeeping and flat linen service, uh, group and individual transportation also. There will be a beauty salon and barber shop, a library, an arts and crafts room, a multi-purpose room, club room, game room, conference room, and even guest suites for out overnight uh, stays for out-of-town family guests. We have an underground uh, secured parking garage, 
and each apartment reserve right now includes a free underground parking space. Unique to Park Place is our comprehensive life care program, which offers three distinct levels of care in our health care center. These levels are assisted living, skilled nursing, and memory care. Our life care program provides you certainty because as a resident of one of our independent living apartments, you will always have priority guaranteed access to our health care center at a discount, significantly discounted rate. The monthly cost in health care is, is the same, no matter if you require assisted living, skilled nursing, or memory care, because you never know what kind of care you're going to need. Planning ahead is the best way to minimize risk, thus providing you with certainty and control over the unexpected for the rest of your life. The assisted living portion of Park Place will have 46 apartments, memory care will have 20 apartments, and skilled nursing will have 37 beds, most of which are private rooms. Skilled nursing can be used for our residents for temporary or permanent stays. Your life care at Park Place will allow you to stay there as long as necessary for a significantly reduced cost. If you're part of a couple, one of you can be in the health care center and the other in the independent apartment, and your monthly fee basically stays the same. Life care provides you the certainty you need to ensure that you are taken care of for the rest of your life, no matter what the future holds. With our 90% refundable entrance fee, we offer the best estate protection because 90% of the fee goes back to your estate whether you leave Park Place or live your entire future there. You are welcome to visit our information center at 360 West Butterfield Road. We have a scale model of the community and a kitchen and bath with all the finishes available in the apartments. An apartment can be reserved with a fully refundable entrance, fee de entrance deposit. We are already 80% reserved. Let Park Place of Elmhurst help you, can take, help you take control of your own future. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Stephanie Polabicki, and I'm the Director of Resident Services for Senior Home Sharing Incorporated. We are a not-for-profit organization with the mission of providing affordable housing for seniors. We're, we were established 30 years ago by Mary Eleanor Wall, your Commissioner of Senior Services. Our mission as affordable housing for seniors is a slightly different than what you've heard the rest of today. We are actually family-style living. We own four homes in, in the area. Our Elmhurst home is near the Jewel at York and Butterfield. In each of our homes, we house six to seven residents, 62 years and, and older, in an independent living situation with support services. As an example, family style living, each, each home has um, six to seven residents with private bedrooms, some with private baths. Each home has a resident manager who is a compassionate, caring, live-in assistant to each of our residents. She's, she or he is there for um, cooking, a little bit of cleaning, social management, and budget management of the house. So you can think of it a little bit as the best in fraternity or sorority style living in a home. Each of our residents um, are, have access to all the services around the area. All of our homes are in residential, safe, beautiful residential areas close to, in this case in Elmhurst, close to the Jewel and the, and the mall nearby, close to um, hospitals, close to the brand new hospital, close to churches, and all the services around. What are the support services that we provide? Part of it is my services as residents, um, Director of Resident Services. I provide case management, counseling, assistance in individual and group living, and largely what I am about is helping each one of our residents uh, find the specific services within the community that they need, whether it's financial assistance or um, assistance from a nearby church, spiritual access, um, access to transportation, connections to additional services outside of the, uh, of the home. I also work very closely with family members and sponsor of our, sponsors of our residents to find additional services and aid as needed as people age in our homes so that you can stay in this home environment for as long as possible. We have a, an extensive volunteer program that connects us to uh, 
a number of people in the, in the community that come and provide companionship, activities. We follow a, a model of healthy aging in our homes. What we're looking for is people to engage in social activities, um, intellectual activities to keep your brain stimulated and keep you as young as, as possible, physical activities as you wish. We'll do exercise programs as, as your choice is in the home. And, um, and, as, and in addition, nutrition, good nutrition. We specialize in home-cooked meals. Uh, our house managers are some of the best cooks around and provide not just meals that are home-cooked, but also um, specific to the individual interests and preferences of our residents. Our homes, again, are in beautiful um, residential neighborhoods, close to churches. We allow for... Um, Lots of opportunity to engage in the community. Each of our homes has a yard and, um, and neighbors who participate with us. As a resident of our, one of our homes, you can engage in activities that help the household if you wish. We have several gardeners in our homes who um, have the opportunity to actually raise a garden in, in, in our yards and participate in the um, beauty of the yard. As the needs increase, um, we look for affordable options. Uh, some of our residents eventually need the assistance of home health care assistance, and I work with families and partner in bringing in affordable home health care aids as, as are needed. Again, our Elmhurst home is on Van Buren Place uh, near York and Butterfield behind the Jewel, a beautiful little neighborhood. Senior Home Sharing, a, a not-for-profit organization providing affordable housing for seniors living independently with support services in a family-style home. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. How are you? Good. My name is Martin Golligley. I represent uh, Concord Place. I'm the community relations person from there. I'm also from Scotland. I have a little bit of a brogue. It's a little obnoxious, I know. But you guys in Elmhurst, you have an accent to me. You sing your words. Oh, thank you, my assistant here. I think we can all agree our seniors in Elmhurst have a fantastic choice to make when it, looks, when it comes to taking care of them. You know, we're looking to the future. Uh, I work at Concord Place down the street there in North Lake on North Avenue and Wolf Road. You've all saw it. Everybody's passed it a million times. Everybody tells me I've passed that a million times. I've never been in there. It's my job this morning to come and invite you to come see our place. We have a fantastic community. Join me for lunch or breakfast. I'll buy you guys lunch or breakfast if you want to come in and see our place. Uh, we offer uh, independent living there. We have studios that start at 11.50. Uh, if you want a one-bedroom with a kitchen, we can, we can accommodate you that way. We're an apartment building for assisted with our community. Uh, the place was built as a hotel, so it's got a swimming pool, it's got a workout area, it's got a beautiful dining room, fantastic mezzanine. We have a bus that goes out in the community to Jewel Osco, goes downtown. Our seniors are very active, they're very happy. We have a director of uh, activities, so there's something going on every day. Uh, our assisted living program is the same with the, if you need any extra care. But what I'd like to talk about and what we offer and what, what makes me excited to work there is our supported living program. And basically what that means if you've worked all your days and you've got your social security and you've got to that stage of your life where you've spent your money down either in independent living or you don't own your house and you have less than $2,000 in the bank, then you can come to us and we can apply to the state to help you financially. And I know a lot of people get a social security check, $600, $800. They think, how am I going to live on that? Well, we apply to the state, and the state do an evaluation, determination of needs, and then they supplement you the rest of the money. And basically, you're getting your social security check, and you get $90 a month to live on. So, you know, in my job, it, it's very easy to sell that. I'm, I'm lucky enough, I go out to Heinz Hospital. I go out and I, I, see, I meet seniors who are living in a hospital, and they qualify for this program. So we bring them in, we get them a nice apartment, we get them the care they need. You're going to be evaluated. You're going to get, if you need help with medication or help escorts to dining, medical reminders, bathing, you, this is a, you get an individual care program. 
And so I see seniors that I've brought in from hospital or rehab who are happy, they're socializing. So it, it's, a very, it's a very good program. Um, I can't talk enough about the building. We have a greenhouse on the roof. There used to be a helicopter pad, now it's a greenhouse. We have a beautiful ballroom. The seniors spend the, the new year in the ballroom. It's 4th of July. Um, you know, we have a doctor on staff. So, you know, it, it's, a, it's a wonderful place. Um, on uh, December 4th, we're, having a, we're going to have a mat, a be the match a day with uh, the Lymphoma Leukemia Society. And we're looking for donors to come in who can be a match for somebody who needs a, a transplant. So if you guys, it's December 4th, please come out uh, and help support that. We're going to have entertainment. We're going to have food. We're going to have uh, speakers from the Lymphoma Leukemia Society. We're going to have speakers from Be The Match. Uh, we're going to have people from Blood Source. So it's going to be a, a great day for the community. And I'm trying to reach out to the community. Uh, three years ago, I had a bone marrow transplant for leukemia for an unrelated donor. So somebody gave me my life back. So now I have the opportunity and I have the facility to put on a program where we can reach out to the community and somebody can come in and be a hero and save somebody's life. So that's December 4th, and I'd like to invite you all to come with that and see our facility. And uh, again, my name's Martin, and I'm at Concord. Come out and see me. If you want to come in for lunch or breakfast, I'll buy you lunch and show you around. And uh, thank you to everyone for coming out. Thank you. As you can see, we have a wealth of facilities that will be able to service everyone, and we felt it was really important to make sure that you all knew what Elmhurst has to offer. Um, at this time, I'd like to introduce Mary Eleanor Wall, who is our housing chair. She'd like to say a few words. And as she's making her way up here, I neglected to introduce the gal in the back, Emily Moran. She's our commissioner who's new to um, us, and she's been our timekeeper, and she's been you know, waving a flag in case someone over, overdoes their, their time. So anyway, without ado, here's Mary Eleanor Wall. Thank you, Kathy, and thank you, all of you speakers. You are wonderful and very informative, and we thank you for being here. What you all have here in your hands is a little treasure. I don't want you to throw it away today, because next week you're going to be saying, you know, what was the name of that place? Or where is it? And it's all here. You just, it's, it's kind of a little game. But you have a program like this. Uh, it has a list of speakers who came and all the speakers that were invited to come. And it is in the same order as the, the uh, picture, or the one with the pictures from the city of Elmhurst. Now, you wonder, it's on front and it's on the back. And, and the last speaker, Martin, is not in the incorporated limits of Elmhurst, but he's Elmhurst area. Concord Place is the tall building by the tollway. So we're all Elmhurst neighbors. They're not, they're not on the picture list, but so you have to visualize what they look like without having a picture. Everybody else has a picture. Even Linda has a picture as new as Elmhurst Purse Point is, so it's very up to date. The phone numbers on your program, they're all good. And those are the numbers that you want to have. When you're not a call, you can call and ask for information or set up a date to go see if, when they want to have a cup of coffee with you. But I tell you, they'll just be really glad to see you. So this is something, put it in your phone book or some place where you can't lose it because of the information is all here. And as you can see, the, the one with the houses, the residence pictures, have additional technical information that the city has, the number of residents, square footage, all kinds of things, even things that you might not think to ask. But it's, um, it's good information. It's reliable information. 
So that's why I say it's a treasure. We worked hard in deciding what you needed, and I think, I think we did a good job. Do you think so? Thanks, sir. Thank you, Mary Eleanor. For those of you that don't know uh, about Mary Eleanor, she's been a staple in the community, and she's actually our Obi-Wan Kenobi of housing. If anybody knows anything, Mary Eleanor does. So just make sure if you need some information to contact us, and she can point you in the right direction. Um, I would like to tell you that today we were going to present everyone with a certificate of appreciation because there's so many here. We're going to be doing that after the program. I'd like to leave you with this little quote. I always like to end it uh, on an up note. Don't count the days. Make the days count. With that, have a good day. Thank you for coming, and we'll see you at our next community conversation. I'm Elmer's Police Chief, Steve Newbaum. Elmer's is a great place to live and work. However, we are not crime free. Many people in our community become victims of crime simply because they did not lock their belongings. I would ask you to do two things. First, lock your car, house, and bike. Secondly, call 911 to report suspicious activity to the Elmer's Police Department. The Elmer's Police Department reminds you to lock it or lose it.